Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the challenger, Sergey Pavlovich. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it Toyota Center, and this is the site of one of your biggest and I know most signature wins of your career against Gus back in 2015. One of the biggest fights of my life was when I beat Alexander Gustafson at UFC 192 when I retained my championship. One of the hardest fights of my entire life. The Toyota Center is a great fight arena. Got the single collar tie. 
I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the pen. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice great punch. And they separate. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Adesanya. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big ball for the man. So now we get back to range. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. He has commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. He walks out to the entrance when he's in the octagon of fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Close guards. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters, Sometimes it's very even, that's what he saw in round number one. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. A single power tie here. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down both of our combatants? have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's gonna be the one that makes the first move? Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Adesanya. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. A lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Ah, that jab hurt 
him. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, huge block. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good stick. Just misses with the right. Oh, beautiful connection on the feet. He's got it all working tonight. This He's in his zone. He's in a zone, and it's going to be very difficult for his opponent to keep up with him. Lands the lead right punch. Blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Leg kick points. And that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks, just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening to take the full advantage of it. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Whoa! Oh, he's bad. He's hurt bad job. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And really starting to make these shots count. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Adesanya. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, that combination's gonna leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Adesanya. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, really making good use of it. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Real quick leg kick. Clinch position. Look, oh. he's got him right here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, huge right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just misses there with the left. All pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Adesanya. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Oh! It's another huge right. Let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. 
his opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the mat. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to be in, but they're all... within the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans going to stop this contest. At two minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily